there is a very strange object flying past our sun. We don't exactly know what this thing is or what it's doing. We can't even see it anymore. But we have been watching this object very closely for months. We've given it a name, Three Eye Atlas, and we've given it a title, Interstellar Comet. There is a lot that we know about this new visitor to our solar system. Let's talk about the journey of this interstellar object. Right now, Three Eye Atlas is making its closest approach to the sun. We call this phase perihelion. And the peak occurs on October 29th, when the object will pass within about 210 million km of our star. Although in space we typically use a larger form of measurement, that's the astronomical unit, or AU, the unexpected happened. Bees. Atlas changed. It erupted in a burst of blue light that no one saw coming. We thought three atlas would be hidden behind the sun for weeks because most of our technology cannot observe it during this time. Scientists expected it to either break apart from the intense heat or simply fade as it made its closest approach. And now fresh data suggests something even stranger is going on with this interstellar visitor today. We're breaking down the newest scientific paper examining what NASA's instruments captured at closest approach to the sun and exploring why some researchers are raising eyebrows about data that keeps getting stranger. On October 28, Lian Ling Arshuwu, a newly released scientific analysis from a team including researchers affiliated with the U, S. Naval Research Laboratory revealed extraordinary findings about the interstellar object 3 Iatlas. Throughout September and October, as the object approached its closest point to the sun, its brightness increased at a rate far beyond what astronomers typically observe in comets within our solar system. To uncover the cause, the team examined data gathered from multiple solar monitoring spacecraft including instruments aboard NASA's Stereo A and the SOHO Observatory. These satellites continuously observe the sun and, by coincidence, captured rare images of 3 i Atlas during a window when Earth-based telescopes were unable to track it due to intense solar glare. The analysis showed a rapid and unprecedented brightening curve behavior that challenges what scientists have long believed about how comets react under extreme solar radiation. The comet's brightness increased with a power scaling of negative 7. Woo! To put that into context, typical comets brighten at rates between negative 2 and negative 4 as they approach the sun. This means 3 Atlas was getting dramatically brighter, far faster than any known solar system comet. What could be the conventional reason for that? Either way, getting data is challenging. Here's what Abby Loeb had to say on Newsmax. I corresponded with Congresswoman Anna Paulina Luna, who promised to get in touch with NASA and encouraged them to release the data because the principal investigator is at the University of Arizona. He's not a NASA employee. And moreover, it's time to share the data with the scientific community, even if they don't want to make a press release. It has nothing to do with communicating it to the media. It has to do with scientific practice, allowing us to plan the observations ahead according to what we already know. Beyond the unusual brightening the research paper documents something even more bizarre. When scientists analyzed the color of three atlas using different filters on the Lasco coronagraph, they discovered the comet appeared distinctly bluer than the sun. This finding contradicts basic physics. Comets are covered in dust and ice. Dust scatters light in a way that makes objects appear redder, not bluer. Additionally, 
the surface temperature of three atlas should be approximately 20 times cooler than the sun's photosphere, which sits at about 5. Babai do Kelvin. The research paper suggests two possible explanations. First, gas emissions from molecules like carbon monoxide. When heated, carbon dioxide and ammonia could be contributing significant visual light. These gases can produce blue wavelengths when excited by solar radiation. The second possibility involves heat sources we have not yet identified. If 3E Atlas is predominantly ice and dusty as expected, explaining temperatures high enough to produce blue light becomes extremely difficult. But if you thought that was weird, it only gets weirder. So stay with me on this. The day after 3E Atlas reached its closest approach to the sun, a NASA engineer by the name of David Farnosia reported something rather unusual. He discovered that forces other than just gravity are now pushing and pulling on this object as it travels through space. The measurements showed the comet is being pushed away from the sun at 135 kilometers per day squared. And it is also being nudged sideways at 60 kilometers per day squared. Now, for normal comets, this kind of push usually comes from ice heating up and turning into gas, which shoots off the surface like a rocket engine in slow motion. If this pushing force is coming from normal ice turning to gas, the math tells us something important. At the speed this is happening, 3 Atlas would be losing about half of its total mass every six months. That is a massive amount of material being thrown off in a very short time. If this continues, scientists should be able to see a huge cloud of gas and dust around the comet when it gets closer to Earth in December, which would prove this is what is actually happening. You know, yesterday was a special day. That was the day when three Atlas came closest to the sun. We cannot observe it from Earth because the sun is between us and this object. However, there are several instruments that were able to observe it that are looking at the sun, and some of them are satellites. As of this morning, we have a report that the object got much brighter than expected, much brighter than any previous comet from the solar system did as it approached the sun, perihelion, so to speak. Moreover, the color of the object is blue, bluer than the sun, and that's very surprising. The scientific paper projects that if these trends continue, 3E Atlas should be visible at approximately magnitude 9 inches visible light as it emerges from behind the sun. And that is bright enough to be seen through amateur telescopes. The European Space Agency's JUICE spacecraft, currently traveling toward Jupiter, is positioned to make observations in early November. However, because JUICE uses its communication dish as a heat shield when pointed at the sun, the data will not be transmitted back to Earth until February 2026. Surprise, surprise. The real test comes on December 19th, when 3E Atlas makes its closest approach to Earth at a distance of 269 million km. At that point, hundreds of ground-based telescopes, along with the Hubble Space Telescope and potentially the James Webb Space Telescope, will have clear views. If 3E Atlas lost 10% of its mass through outgassing, as the math suggests, that should be obvious. There should be a massive plume of gas and dust visible surrounding the object. Scientists will be able to measure the composition of that material through spectroscopy, breaking down the light into its component wavelengths to identify specific molecules. The observation will also reveal whether the blue color persists or was a temporary phenomenon related to peak heating. If it was ionized carbon monoxide, as some researchers suggest, 
we should see specific emission lines in that spectrum. If it was something else, the December observation might give us our first real clues. However, one critical piece of information remains missing. Despite multiple requests from scientists and even congressional representatives, NASA has not released high-resolution images taken by the high-rise camera aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. On October 2nd, that instrument captured 3E Atlas at a distance where its 30 megapixel camera could potentially resolve surface features. Hmm. I wonder why. Acting NASA head Sean Duffy mentioned time and time again how transparent NASA is, but his words are not matching the actions. We are transparent. Well, either way. The delay in releasing this data has raised questions, as it should. According to reporting from IFL Science, published on October 30th, 3E Atlas passed both solar conjunction and closest approach. Without breaking apart, the object remains intact, which is kind of unusual. It is currently within the orbit of Mars, but moving away from the sun each day. Now, what makes this object so valuable to science is where it came from. Three Atlas formed around a completely different star in another solar system, potentially billions of years ago. Some scientists think it could be twice as old as our own solar system. By studying it, we get a very rare glimpse into how planets and comets formed in an entirely different cosmic neighborhood. And that is one of the biggest takeaways from the object, if it is natural. It still has so much to offer humanity to help us better understand space. As December approaches and more telescopes point towards 3E Atlas, we will be covering every major development. So, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on so you do not miss any of the analysis with those crucial observations coming in. The next few months could answer a lot of our questions or raise entirely new ones. When 3I Atlas finally slips out from behind the sun in mid-November, the eyes of the world will turn toward it again. From the Atacama Desert in Chile to the mountaintops of Hawaii, Telescopes will begin a synchronized chase, capturing every flicker of light, every hint of motion. Spectrographs will dissect its glow, searching for the fingerprints of molecules, carbon monoxide, cyanogen, or perhaps something we've never seen before. Each wavelength could tell a story not just about the comet itself, but about the star system that forged it billions of years ago. NASA's Parker Solar Probe has already crossed the region where 3I Atlas passed. If their data overlap, scientists might find traces of dust or magnetic disturbances left in its wake. And in the background, mission planners are taking notes. The European Space Agency's upcoming Comet Interceptor will be placed on standby orbit waiting for the next interstellar visitor, ready to launch in an instant. Next time, humanity might not just watch from afar, we might go meet the traveler ourselves. Because this isn't just about one comet. It's a rehearsal, a cosmic test of how ready we are to reach beyond our own sun. For every 3 eye atlas we detect, there are likely millions more drifting silently between the stars. Each one is a frozen time capsule, carrying the chemistry of another world, the memory of another dawn. So, as December approaches and the data flows in, one question remains. What if this isn't just a comet passing through our system, but the universe itself reminding us to look up and wonder be safe. And remember, keep your eyes on the skies. If you enjoyed today's show, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, 
What are you waiting for? Hit the notification bell as I do daily UFO news and updates, fresh UAP stories, government disclosures, and breaking developments land here every single day.